Okay, Karcha, um, the first meeting that Lynn Bornan had when we arrived here in Barcelona was with the president of Catalonia, Kim Tora. And we met him along with the relatives of the political prisoners and their lawyers. I was struck by the relationship between all three and a very supportive role. The relatives were very grateful for the support they were getting from the president. We met the following morning quite early to leave in two separate delegations, arriving uh, two buses to the jails. Uh, we went to the first jail where seven of the political prisoners are held and they are together. And I have to say, walking into that jail as a former prisoner and who's now an MEP, you know, I, I was uh, struck by the fact that I was going in to meet former MEPs, ministers and presidents of uh, civil society organisation um, who are now here and now in prison. And I didn't expect to find them any other way than what I did. They were determined, strong, strategic, and obviously given a lot of support to each other because they're, they're in the one jail. Their imprisonment is illegal, so they shouldn't be going to trial. And the next few weeks is crucially important because the charges that have been put against them of rebellion, uh, sedition. It was state violence that took place here across Catalonia on the 1st of October 2017, on the day that people simply wanted the right to decide. So I left the jail with a, a sore heart. The delegation split in two. Some of us went to meet a, a female, a woman political prisoner called Dolores Bassa. The others went to meet the speaker, the speaker of the House uh, in the Catalan Parliament, Car uh, Carmel Forcadell. I was absolutely inspired listening to Dolores. Dolores was the, was the Minister for Labour. And she also, prior to that, was a trade union representative. And she has fought for workers' rights and people's rights all of her life. And here she is in prison, fighting for the rights of women prisoners. Finally, one thing I will cherish from this trip, there are many memories that I have, but I got all of the prisoners that I met to, uh, to sign little messages for the people of Ireland. And I want to share this with you. Lynn and I, Matt and Leah, will be standing up for the people of Catalonia and for the political prisoners in the European Parliament, we asked you to do the same.